Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have basically fallen apart the last two trading days here in the Great British Pound and US dollar. So US dollar has been appreciating uh, a little bit today, but not significant. So this is fairly uh, surprising that we basically fell apart here. But we can conclude that the 50 moving average is a major barrier for this currency pair. And the 200 and 100 moving average, sorry, is also a, kind of a significant barrier to the downside. So we're basically trading between the 50 and the 100 moving average at this current stage. Technical negatives for uh, this currency pair are all turning around. Stochastic is negative. Um, ACD is crossing the signal line. is also in, in bearish territory. And we are also um, negative here in the RSI and also the CCI. So we're approaching the bottom of the bullish band. The very bottom is around uh, 1369. That's where we'll definitely find uh, quite a lot of support. You'll probably already find it here at the 50 moving average. We could breach it a little bit and then pull back. If we break below the 200 moving average, then we could that could open the door to the 150 down here at 1356. If you look, for example, at the cloud, we can see that we do have a selling signal right over here where we have the two moving averages crossing and we're also trading underneath the cloud. So we have been on this for a very long time, been in this uptrend where we basically were trading above the cloud and we had a buying signal back here in the beginning of November. And then that basically ended right here where we basically got our selling signal in the beginning of March. So since then we have been tra trending underneath the cloud and now we're trading just underneath the cloud indicating that we are basically in a, a bearish trend. So let's look at the, the US dollar and the Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have a uh, pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average. The 20 exponential has been supported in the past. You can see what basically happened here when we got close to the 20, it basically bounced and rallied all the way up towards 110. We're trading 109 at the moment. And um, at the current stage, 20 exponential is holding. It has been basically going back and forward today, but it has been holding. However, technical indicators are still very bearish in the daily chart, so it could take uh, several days if we were to bounce from here to go higher. Yes, otherwise we are basically right in the middle of the bullish band, break below the 20 exponential moving average, could open the door, uh, break below the 20 exponential moving average, could open the door to the 40, all the way down here at 108, rally from here, then we'll be first test the 110 level before going higher so let's look at the euro us dollar and as you can see we have rallied yet again today above the 40 exponential moving average and then gave most of those gains back so that is not a really good sign we're also approaching the top here of the bullish band so we could see a pullback from here break below the 20 exponential right here could open the door to the 300 down at the 1173 Otherwise, technical indicators are looking fairly good. MACD is still in negative territory, but it's way above the signal line. Um, and we are, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastics is actually extremely bullish at this current stage. So uh, rally above the 40 exponential, that opens the door to the 200 at 11.95. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Also here, it looked really strong um, the last uh, five trading days and then it basically fell apart today we're down 0.41 percent at this current stage and it looks like we're heading back towards the 150 moving average down here at 0.75 if we manage to rally above these moving averages here which looks like a tall order um, we'll probably go towards the 50 and then we'll pull back but break above the 50 then we're going to test again 100 now 0.78 we are struggling at the middle of the bullish band here. Technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And also here we have rallied way above the 50 moving average. Actually, we are still trading above the 50 moving average. So we're getting very close to the top of the bullish band here. Um, what, uh, this point. If we think about it, whether or not we are going to have a reversal here, 
Well, it's too early to say. We have had instances where we are basically rallied well above the 50 moving average and then we've broken down significantly. We can see it right here and also over here and we, it looks like we're doing the same thing again here. If you look at technical indicators, they are very bullish for this currency pair. And so we could see this um, go higher. You can also uh, look at what basically happens in oil. If oil prices uh, drop, then this most likely will also go higher as there's a uh, negative correlations between Canadian um, dollar and, and oil. So at the moment, MACD is bullish, the RSI is uh, flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So rallies above the 50 could lead to the 100 at the 1268. Break below here, well, we could test these uh, previous lows at 1252 and then all the way down to 1237. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.